Hello. OK, so today we're talking about standing waves in pipes. Um, and I am videoing this on a different day. It is not April 16th today, but it's April 16th when you're watching this. And um, it's my birthday. So fun times. OK, so standing waves in pipes. Um, so resonance. Resonance is kind of a big deal here, OK? And so we're going to do a lab today. It's called, well, I call it the resonance lab. Um, so it's when you have one object that vibrates at the natural frequency of a second object, forcing the second object to vibrate. So if you like can like ah, and like at a glass and cause it to break by matching its frequency, you can make it resonate at the natural frequency that'll make it vibrate and make it vibrate too fast and it will break the glass. So that's kind of fun. I mean, don't do that without goggles on, but it's interesting. Um, anyway, so that's what resonance is. Um, when we talk about frequency in pipes, that's because the air is vibrating. So the air is vibrating the pipe at its natural frequency, which is kind of fun. So at a given temperature, the velocity of air is 331.5 plus 0 0.6 times the Celsius temperature. Most of the time, I don't give you the temperature, so you don't really have to use this very often, okay? I think for all of the homework, I don't think I used it at all. I did my homework earlier today. So if the temp isn't given, we use 340 meters per second. And as a matter of fact, I believe at the top of your homework for pipes, yeah, it, let, it says at the top you're going to use 340 meters per second as the speed of sound. Okay, so this is for your homework packet problems tonight. So, um, so we're going to use this one. And this is really the one that we like to use the most. Um, so that's when air is at um, like room temperature, like 25 degrees Celsius, I think, is, is what happens when it's, it's 340. Okay? So that means the velocity of sound in air travels at that speed. Uh, that's not the velocity that sound travels through anything just through air at a certain temperature, okay? Um, so different types of pipes. So we have open pipes and we have closed pipes. So open pipes are where they're open at both ends, like a flute or a hallway or a tunnel. Those are open at both ends. That would be an open pipe, okay? Um, so open pipes, there's, yeah, there's some pictures. Okay, these are um, also, on a, a paper somewhere in my canvas that I will post for April 16th. So you'll see kind of side by side string and open pipes and closed pipes and see the comparison between them, okay? Um, so this is an open pipe where the N equals one. So in this case, the N, so in strings, the N was equal to the number of antinodes in pipes the N is equal to the number of nodes. The nodes are where the strings meet. The antinodes are always at the ends, okay? So the places where there's the most energy, the most vibration is at the ends of, of the pipes, which makes sense, like a pipe organ or something. Like those are, that's where they are vibrating the most is at the ends. That's what makes that beautiful sound. So the nodes are where the strings meet. Um, strings, it shouldn't say strings. <laughs> it's where the waves meet, not strings. Wow, oh, some people's children. There we go, where the waves meet. All right, so, <clears throat> so for this one, you have n equals one. It's meeting in one spot. For this one, you have two nodes. There's a node there, and there's a node there, so n equals two. For this one, you have a node there, and there, and there, and I know it's ugly, but oh well, and any, so n equals three. And the length changes as well. The length is equal to the wavelength over two. The length for n equals two is lambda. The length is equal to three times the wavelength over two for an n equals three. So this is just for open pipes, okay? So for each harmonic, you're adding half of a lambda, okay, in terms of like half of a wave just like strings. So open pipes and strings do the same thing in terms of your math. So your formula for this one is the same as the one for strings. So it's kind of easy to remember, okay? So, and where is that on your formula sheet? Let's look. 
See right there. There's your frequency for strings and open pipes. It is labeled for you, okay? Now this equation, this is not for pipes. This is just for strings, so don't use this for pipes, okay? This works for pipes, or just saying that the velocity of sound is 340 meters per second also works, and that's right here on the front of the um, formula sheet right there, okay? Um, but anyway, but so that's for the pipe. And then for closed pipes, things are a little, oops, sorry about that. Things are a little different, okay? So for closed pipes, so for this one, n equals one, you only have a node at the closed end. So you always have a node at the closed end. So the other end is what vibrates the most with the most energy and makes all the sound, okay? So these are like a trumpet or a well. Um, if you've ever blown into like a Coke bottle, like that's a closed pipe, okay? So this one has one node, so that's n equals one. This one, you have one, two, so n equals two. This one you have one, two, three, so that's n equals three. Now for these though, the length of the pipe is equal to the wavelength over four. And the n equals two, the length equals three pi over four. For n equals three, the length equals five pi over four. So, yeah. Okay, so what happens here each harmonic adds about a half a wavelength, but n equals one is a quarter of a wavelength. It's a quarter, okay? So you're adding a half to a quarter. A half to a quarter is three quarters. A half to three quarters is five quarters. Does that make sense? So what happens is only odd harmonics are what we're gonna hear. And then this is the equation for closed pipes. So it's NV over 4L, so it's not quite like strings or open pipes. Closed pipes are different. So, and then here's the formula for closed, oops, sorry. Here's the formula for closed pipes. On your formula sheet, it says closed. That's for closed pipes. And again, you can use this if you have the temperature of the air, or you can use this. If you don't have the temperature, it's 340, okay? So that's NV over 4L. Okay. So then here is um, one little example problem. Calculate the first three standing wave frequencies of an open pipe that's 100 centimeters long and a closed pipe that's 100 centimeters long. Okay, so for an open pipe, okay, so frequency equals NV over 2L. So if N equals one, and the velocity of the sound in, um, in air travels at 340 meters per second over two, and the length is 100 centimeters, so that is one meter, right? Um, well, my ones kind of cancel, right? So it's just 340 over two. So that's what, 150 plus 20, so that should be 170 hertz. So this is your F1. Now, there is another equation that you can use to find your subsequent frequencies, Fn equals n times F1. So that's what I'm gonna use next. So F of two equals two times 170. Okay, and so, there we go. All right, oh, duh. So two times 170 is 340. So that's your F2, and then F3 would be three times 170. So you get 510 hertz, okay? And for part B, we have a closed pipe. So F equals NV over 4L. Okay, so N is one, V is 340, over four 
times the length, which is one meter, 100 centimeters is one meter. Okay, so now it's 340 over four, which is 85 hertz. So this is your F1. So then your F2, I'm gonna slide this up a little, there we go. Your F, you don't have an F2 because you only hear odd harmonics for a closed pipe. So F3 is what we would hear next, would be three times 85. So that'd be 255 hertz. And then for the next harmonic, it wouldn't be four, it would be harmonic five, because we only hear odd harmonics. So it would be five times 85, which would be 425 hertz. Okay? Okay. So those are open and closed pipes, and you have homework. You are doing um, page 36 in your homework packet. Page 36, number 15 through 23, okay? And some of these are gonna be some general wave equations, and at least one of them will use something really, really simple. So your general wave equation is this one, V equals lambda times frequency, where the speed of the wave is equal to lambda times frequency, wavelength times frequency. And then something that a lot of you forget is just general velocity is displacement over time. So don't forget, that's just general, displacement over time. Okay? All right. Good luck. Have a great day.